Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to apply a bead of caulk. And I just got back from Colorado from a company named Sashco and they make some really great products. We're gonna explain one of them to you and give you a few tips and tricks on how to use their product. Okay, so if you like this video or you learned something, which I did, I learned a little bit when I was there, click that subscribe button. 83% of you don't, and we wanna raise that average. Don't forget to like these videos. Hit the bell icon if you wanna be notified when we're putting out new content. So what I have here is I have a tube of a stuff called Big Stretch. And this is a caulk and seal, a caulk and sealant for your windows, doors, and siding. So we primarily use this for siding. This is white. It's like their most popular color. I actually saw them manufacture this product. And the company's called Sashko. And what that stands for is Sash Company. Because back a uh, hundred years ago when this company was invented, uh, it was a Sash Company. They made metal sashes and then they uh, transferred into Sash Putty, the glazing material that would apply to the glass to keep it inside of the frame. They started out making metal frames, went into putty, and then eventually went into caulking and sealants. So a few things that I learned about how to apply their product is, the first one is, on just about every caulk gun I own, there's a little spout cutter right here. It even says spout cutter. Don't use that. The company uh, suggests that you apply about a quarter inch thick bead to your application area. Okay, so which means if you're just cutting the tip off of this and barely poking a hole in it, you're not gonna get enough sealant onto the application surface, okay? So they suggest that you cut a 45 degree angle. Grab my knife. Try that again. Grab my knife. Try that again. Third time's a charm. All right, they want you to cut a 45 degree angle on the tube. So something close to that. All right, so you have a nice open area that you can, and, and they don't always use that. They have different uh, tubing cutters and things like that that you can get depending on how many tubes you're using. But for our uh, demonstration, I think that's a pretty nice cut. All right, also on this uh, fancy cult gun I got at Home Depot. And actually, I was using the exact same gun at the facility. There's a built-in clean out. So what this does is it pokes the inside of the tube. There's a foil barrier in here. I don't know if this one has it. This product that's called Big Stretch, they actually do not have a foil barrier. Just on their clears, they do. Okay, so here we go. All right, your hands will stay a lot cleaner Here's a quick tip for you. If you go get some surgical gloves or neoprene gloves or whatever, your hands will stay a lot cleaner. So basically, when you go to do the sealant, you wanna keep your gun applied at, a, at an angle. And they wanna see about a quarter inch bead of, of sealant into your application surface. Okay, just like that. All right, now that we've put in the sealant, what's the next thing you need to do? Well, you need to put a finish on it. As you can see on the house, somebody's already done this on the siding. They just took their finger and they wiped it down the wall like this. The problem with that is you can take too much of the sealant out of the equation. So there's not a whole lot of sealant now protecting the wall to the siding. So to avoid that, what they suggest you do is get a spray bottle, put some clear Windex, clear Windex, not the blue stuff, cause it can leave a blue stain on the sealant, but use like a clear Windex product and it helps tool the, sil the silicone much better and then it won't end up so much on your hands. So we're gonna go ahead and spray this down. There you go. And now you're left with a quarter inch bead and only a little bit of silicone on my finger. Okay? And it's not on my finger because it's on the glove. So that's how they suggest, that way when this is cured, you have a nice protected bead of silicone 
left on the wall or on the siding. Uh, this obviously was just for demonstration purposes because we're going to cover that up with some deck boards and stuff. But um, I'm not going to start start caulking the whole house up because then they'd have to paint that. There you go, guys. I uh, hope you learned a little something about sealant and how to apply it. Big Stretch is a really high quality product. So if that's in your area, you can look up Sashko online, look up Big Stretch, see if you can find that product in your local area. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out fresh content. Uh, don't forget to leave us a comment below and like this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.